And then they said it's gonna be freezing rain also. Cause this, this is looking pretty bad. It's gonna get a lot worse here. They're expecting a pretty bad blizzard. What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco. I am in the middle of a huge snowstorm and I have to survive in a spot. Uh, Cause this is probably gonna get pretty bad and I don't wanna be too far away from safety. Currently I'm in Minnesota and uh, it's starting to snow. And the thing is, I don't think it's gonna stop. There's gonna be a huge blizzard. So at this point, I gotta get gas, because I don't wanna be stuck out there and have half a tank. I just wanna be as prepared as I can. Right now, it doesn't look too bad. But as the time goes, it's gonna get a lot worse here. They're expecting a pretty bad blizzard. For Thursday and Friday, Information statement. And snowfall observers I'm trying to see if I can find out how many inches of snow. Now the forecast for central Minnesota from the southwest Twin Cities suburbs to Hutchinson. Alright, so it's starting to look a little bit worse as the hours go on. I still didn't get a good heads up on whether if it was going to be three to four feet of snow or two feet of snow. Just that it was going to be a lot of snow accumulation. So far this looks medium, I guess. I'm not an expert yet. Working on it. Okay, so this is pretty much where I'm going to be spending the night at, at this graveyard. If I notice the snow is getting more elevated and higher than two to three inches, I'm going to have to go to a near safe spot, uh, like a gas station or something, so I can have a source of food. In case this takes prolonged, I do have an emergency supply, but it's not that serious. I just want to make sure I'm, you know, I'm, I'm safe and I don't, you know, I don't really want to make this a big project. But something to know when you're in the snow and you're kind of like surviving in your van or whatever, you need to make sure that you have your battery is, is fully charged for your truck. Because at 32 degrees, your battery drops 20% of its power of its load. Okay, as of right now, I kind of jerry-rigged this thing, but I got my negative on my negative. I point the positive. No, oh, don't scare me. Holy c I thought I wasn't running any power. There we go. The thing wasn't fully connected. All right, so with the cold, I am running about, I don't know if you guys can see it, 13... 0.63 volts that's good not bad i think it would usually be around 14 volts with the two batteries but 13.63 is not bad at all i'm just pushing through it trying to get to this next gas station and then i'm going to call it because this this is looking pretty bad slow down and it's funny because I have to slow down like 20 car lengths before the red light so that way I could I don't slide all the way through it look at the size of this snow mountain here holy crap isn't that insane I guess they snow plowed all this snow and that kind of gives you a bit of a expectation what kind of snow goes on out here in Minnesota Ooh, I could already feel the floor getting icy my feet. I want to see if I could find a forest where I could uh, stay at for the night. Maybe make a fire. I don't know if I'll be able to. It just depends on how bad the snow is. But try to see if I can make a fire or something so that way I could, uh, you know, make some ravioli, some warm food. All right, so I found where I'm going to probably be staying here. It's going to be right around here. It looks very beautiful, to be honest. Probably walk down this path here. I just hope the roads don't turn to ice and I can't get out of here. I'm trying to become more familiar when it comes to uh, when it comes to snow. Ooh, that was kind of slippery. It is beautiful. 
I miss this. <laughs> I love cold. All right, it looks to be some sort of bathroom out here. Oh, wow, look at that. I didn't even know that was over there. For a minute, I was under the impression that was pretty deep in here. Okay, so as of right now, the snow is still coming down pretty hard. Not as hard as I was expecting, like crazy blizzard warning, but the temperature is dropping. I do have my car set. I made sure. I'm only kind of concerned that they don't shut the main gate or else I'm trapped here until they open up the gate again. I don't know if they'll do it tomorrow or the next day, but the snow seems to be coming down a little bit more forcefully and the snow level is slowly rising on the ground floor. A winter weather advisory remains in effect until 11 a.m. Monday for the following counties in Minnesota, Carver, Hennepin, Lee Sword, McLeod, Meeker, Scott, and Wright. Winter weather advisory remains in effect until 9 a.m. Monday. What? Snow expected. Total snow accumulations of 1 to 3 inches. Where? Portions of western Minnesota. Okay, so I got some update now. Uh, weather conditions are actually getting a little bit worse. It's now going to 3 to 4 inches. Um, which I could potentially get stuck. I do know after three to four inches uh, I, I need to get like this fast track thing I could throw underneath my truck so I can get it out of snow and I don't feel comfortable sleeping here and Waking up tomorrow knowing that I'm stuck here for a whole other day So I think I'm gonna go to some safer grounds. This might be a little bit tough for me and my truck now So I'm gonna play it safe and probably go towards a, a closer gas station and then they said it's gonna be freezing rain also which will leave everything full of ice and I might not even be able to get my truck out of it. Okay, so my dilemma too is that if this turns to ice, if, I don't know if you guys can even see down there, it's so much snow kind of coming down, but down there it's like a bit of a slope and then I have to carry back upwards. If that turns to ice, I could get trapped within the ice area and not be able to go back up the slope area. All right, so hopefully I can make it through the slope area because I did get through a pretty big slope getting up here. Dang it, I really wanted to stay here. But I gotta be careful. Alright, I did it. I freaking did it. That's what I was talking about. It got icy there. That's what I was trying to avoid. If it was a straight road, I would have stayed. Alright. Let me see if I can find a gas station now nearby. I just made it back from the gas station and my theory was right. Apparently, um, it's gonna be more than three to four inches. It could be five to six. So I gotta be extremely careful because that means tomorrow I might be stuck. I don't even know if I wanna be at this particular gas station because there's not much to kind of eat for the mornings. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Right now, I guess what I have to do is start cleaning out the back and basically what I'm gonna do is take all the stuff back here and I'm gonna put it right here in the front seat here so that way I have room to sleep for the night if you look over here you could see already the car outside is already coming covered with snow I wonder how big this could actually get oh it's coming inside let's check out the other area this is the other side and it's just coming down hard. If you look at the ground, you could already see it's already about an inch and a half. I still got four to five inches left to go. So I couldn't sleep. Uh, I was kind of paranoid seeing how the weather was gonna be and I wanted to make sure I was able to get out to continue my journey tomorrow. So I went for a drive around town just to see how everything was looking. And this is one of the beauties of just kind of being out in the wild and just, I mean, it may not be, I'm in a suburban area, but this looks like liminal spaces. Like almost every human being just disappeared and you got the whole place to yourself. Check this out. That whole house has the garage door open. You could just walk right in there. Not that I would, I'm just saying it, you know. Just crazy. Could you imagine just wake up and you're in an abandoned neighborhood? Everyone's just missing and you're just walking. Hello, is there anybody here? You look in, you got like that one random house with the window lights on 
and you don't even know if there's anybody inside or why that windows are on or the, the lighting in the room is still on it's like was somebody in there or is it like a glitch in the universe or something and you just kind of like fell through a wall and you woke up here check this out it's definitely a beautiful house just weird because all the houses have all the windows and everything open just eerie Kind of just out in the middle of nowhere. Imagine like all the houses are just model houses. Now that I think about it, these houses kind of remind me of the Chris Watts house. How one of the windows were open and you could see what looked like people standing in front of the window. I'm guessing all these houses are probably just for show. I'm not too quite sure. If I see someone staring at me, I'm just gonna keep, I'm probably gonna run out of here. So I've made it to this creepy looking church out here. I think there's tombs in the back too. It's like a little graveyard back there. I literally feel like something's hunting me down as I'm out here. Let's listen to how quiet it is. Going back here to see how the graveyard looks. It's right next to the church here. Starting to see a little bit of snow. Kind of peeking through. Like I said earlier, it's like something catastrophic happened, or, you know, like God came and took everybody, like every single person. Like I'm like the last person on earth to being out here and everything is just left as it is and I'm just exploring it, me and my truck. All right, at this point now, I'm getting kind of tired so I think I'm gonna see if I can try to get some sleep. I'm gonna park by a nearby area. I'll probably show you how I get ready to get some sleep. If you look in the back there, you can see some of that window screen thing I kind of have on my window. That's what I used to block out my window so I could sleep at night finally found it this is gonna be my place where I'm gonna be spending the night at I just had to use the bathroom real quick I've already parked there's still gonna be snow coming in and right now the ice is starting to build up on this roads so that's the most dangerous part you do not want to drive there you can see my little swerve mark but uh yeah that's pretty much it and I'm working on my my health pack right here this is pretty much where I put all my Tylenol uh, bandages burn wipes because I'm always getting cut because I'm trying weird shit every once in a blue but uh, yeah and now I just bought these cool little packs that I found at the gas station right at first I thought they were like Altoids but they're not all-purpose first aid uh, kit so at this point now I'm gonna start making my way to the back of the car this is where I do that awkward army crawl thing so I can get to my bed space and then from there this is where the magic happens. I'm kidding. That's where I knock out and then wake up and hopefully I don't wake up to knocking of police officers wondering if I'm alive. Good morning. I'm sorry I didn't really get to feel myself sleeping. I kind of just laid in the back and just knocked out because it was, it's was it been a long pretty much night and I wasn't even supposed to leave the truck on and I left it on by accident. Let me see how it looks like outside. Looks pretty white. All right. Whew. I did it. I need to put water in my face. Oh. Golly, it's cold. Yep. 
They definitely cleaned up all the roads from last night. And so another day will restart. Now I have to make my way to God knows where as I try to figure out for my next location. But that is pretty much how my my how I survive in the truck. I mean, this was winter weather. It's usually a lot different during more war warmer weathers. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish it here. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV Adventures. Yesterday was one crazy adventure. Today is a brand new day. Let's see what God has in store for me. That being said, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye, guys.